are visiting the area around Seoul City Hall, the center of Korea's finance, press, and politics. A special place for dining out, found among the forest of high-rise buildings. Yongsusan, a Korean restaurant where you can experience the traditional taste of Korea. We will guide you to the world of cuisine from the Royal Court and Kaesong region. In World Food, we visit the Indian restaurant Thai, where unique tastes and fragrance tempt you. Why don't you immerse yourself in the mystery of India? The messenger of great taste delivering delicious dishes of Korea to the world. Hello, I'm Jamie Yi of Cuisine Korea. Right now, I'm standing next to Toksugun Palace. Here, there's a strange myth that if you walk along this road with your significant other, you guys will end up breaking up forever. But Despite such myth, this road and Toksugun is a popular dating course, but a new area has emerged as the mecca of this district. It's a place where you could journey off to the world of great taste. Please join me and we'll experience it together. Shall we start from City Hall Station of Subway Line Number 1, which goes right across Seoul? From exit number 4 and going in the direction of the press center, you will find the office building of Tonga Ilbo newspaper. The orange building between Tonga Ilbo and the press center is the Seoul Finance Center where Yongsusan is located. You can find Yongsusan at the first basement floor of Finance Center Mall, which is also known as the heaven of delicious food. Shall we take a look at the map? Don't forget to go in the direction of Kwangamun from exit number 4 of City Hall Station. And Yongsusan is located at the basement mall of Seoul Finance Center. Wow, I believe this is the place. Immediately I could feel the tradition of Korea with a touch of elegance. Let's go and take a look. Endeavoring to create stylish Korean cuisine traditional Korean artifacts and walls inlaid with classical mother-of-pearl create an interior that holds the tranquil and composed sediments of Korea. Want to enjoy your meal in a more private atmosphere? No need to worry, there are six rooms each with its own unique characteristics. There are many customers who come here for the restaurant's stylish interior and upgraded Korean dishes. It is a place where you can taste the dishes Kaesong region that preserves the rich taste of the food without being too spicy. Uh, the type of Korean food I had before is very typical. Uh, the barbecue beef, uh, barbecue pork. But this is definitely more elegant, you know, well, very well prepared and uh, come in uh, small portions and uh, you can have a lot more of these. I think the restaurant is very well designed. It's uh, very beautiful. It has a setting that really entice you to know that this is a very elegant restaurant. Right now, I'm in one of the dining areas, and the walls here are covered with old photos that you'll probably see in a history book. That's right. This is um, part of a history. This is 100 years old pictures. As you see nowadays, there are too many high storage buildings mm -hmm. in Seoul area. And I would like to show people to see how it looked like in old days. Mm -hmm. I was curious, the name of your restaurant, Yong Suzan, does that have a significance as well? Yes, uh, Yong Suzan is the name of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Uh, which exists in Kaesong City in North Korea right now, but it used to be the capital of the Korea dynasty. And my parents are from Korea, uh, they, from Kaesong City. Oh, I see. Mm. Oh, it sounds like this restaurant has lots of history and culture, and I can't wait to see how their dishes are presented. Don't go anywhere, and please join me. You can sense the unique speciality in each of the courses. And the menu I have chosen is this. The person presenting the true taste of Korea to all those who come to Yongsusan with this 20-year history, the main chef.
today we're just going to get right down to business. Oh, 시금치하고 야채들이 들어간 잡채들은 많이 먹어봤는데 해물 잡채는 처음인 것 같거든요. 근데 이게 해물이 들어가서 해물 잡채인가 봐요. 아, 그런 것도 있긴 하지만은 그 우리나라에서 음식이 유명하다고 소문난 곳이 전라도와 개성이 있습니다. 옛날부터요. 근데 이 개성식 해물 잡채 같은 경우에는 좀 일반적인 잡채보다 생소하고 또 서구분들 입맛에도 오히려 육류가 들어간 것보다 훨씬 담백하고 부드러우실 거예요. 그래가지고 해물 잡채를 선택하게 됐습니다. Besides tang myeon or potato noodles, which is the most important ingredient, fresh seafood must be prepared. Of course, vegetables are must. 이게 요리는 제각각 볶아야거네. 왜 그러냐면 이제 각각 재료들마다 있는 시간이 다 틀려요. 그렇기 때문에 이제 제각각 볶아서 놓고 나중에 이제 당면과 삽채선이 다시 한번 볶을 겁니다. First, fry the finely chopped onions until they become transparent to bring out the sweet taste. It is also good to lightly fry mochi mushrooms that have been soaked in water. 해물 해물 같은 경우에는 저기 되도록이면은 단시간에 조리해 주시는 게 훨씬 맛있어요. 왜 그런 그렇지 않으면 이제 물이 나오거든요. Did you hear that? The point is to fry the seafood in a flash to prevent moisture loss. 새우는 보시면 알겠지만은 익으면은 색깔 확 달라지는 거 아시죠? 잘 모르는데. 아 익으면 이제 분홍색 나타나거든요. 아. 그때 그거까지만 이제 볶아 주시면 돼요. 이렇게 이런 야채들 같은 경우에는 생걸로 먹어도 아무런 지장이 없거든요. 그러니까 이제 살짝 색깔만 내는 정도로 볶아 주시면 돼요. The most important part of chapche. The noodles are soaked in water first and boiled. You think the color of the water is strange? 보통 저희 일반 집 가정 같은 경우에는 그 그냥 물에다가 색을 내기 위해서 간장만 섞고 여기 당면을 데치거든요. 그런데 더 아예 그 데치는 물에다가 간장과 설탕 이제 여기 마늘을 넣고 이제 소스를 만들게 되면은. 간이 이제 당면 깊숙이 배게 되죠. 그러면 이제 더 맛있게 드실 수 있어요. 저 그럼 이제 당면이 있는 동안 그 닭가슴살 결체를 한번 해보겠습니다. 그 원래 우리나 우리나라 같은 경우에 이제 해파리를 맛있게 드시는데 외국분들 같은 경우 해파리를 싫어하시는 분참 많거든요. 그래서 이제 저희가 해파리를 빼고 담백한 이제 닭가슴살과 그 여러 가지 이제 야채들을 섞어서 맛있게 드실 수 있는. 그 닭가슴살 겨자채 무침을 한번 해보겠습니다. For chicken breast and vegetable with mustard sauce, you just need tender chicken breast, fresh vegetables, and some spicy mustard. 이제 소스를 한번 만들어 보겠습니다. 소스에는 이제 겨자 가루가 들어가거든요. 이제 약간의 겨자 가루와 겨자는 꼭 따뜻한 물로 해야 돼요. 이거는 발효를 시켜서 먹어야 되거든요. 와사비 같은 경우에는 이제 찬 물로 발효해 서 드실 수 있지만 저희 겨자 같은 경우에는 더운 물로 갠 다음에 이제 따뜻한 곳에서 이제 10분에서 15분 정도 발효를 시킨 다음에 드셔야 가장 맵고 맛있는 맛을 드실 수 있어요. 그리고 이 키포인트가 겨자 같은 게 경우에는 꼭한 방향으로 돌리셔야 돼요. 그래야지 매운 맛이 잘 우러나거든요. And you have to make a thick mix by adding various seasoning to the mustard that has been fermented. Now all we have to do is mix the chopped vegetables, boil tender chicken breast, and mustard sauce. Water seeps out from the vegetables, so it is best to eat as soon as it is served. Okay, 이제 당면이 다 익었거든요. 네. 이제 당면을 건져 보겠습니다. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이
the chicken is very, very, very tender. It practically melts in your mouth, and the pear gives it a very tangy, sweet taste. Now I wonder how the seafood chapcha tastes like. You could probably guess it's very chewy, and there are assorted vegetables and seafoods here. I think it's um, maybe squid. Mmm. I think it's safe to say you'll be safe trying any of these dishes that are in front of me. At Yong Suzan, you can taste diverse dishes enjoyed around Kaesong Region and the Royal Court. Dragon fire pot stew, looking grand and dignified like the dragon. Exquisite harmony between savory Kaesong sausages and spicy kimchi with various fillings. Assortment of bruschetta with carefully chosen ingredients. And there are also various fresh fish dishes as well. Mung bean jelly with this original taste of Kaesong. And the refreshing cold jellyfish, Nengche. You can experience the clean cut taste of Korea. Korean cuisines that have been raised to a new dimension. With great food and sincere service, it's a win win situation. Next, the experience of exotic food brought to you by Jennifer. I wonder what she has in store for you in World Food. there's always a place that you can visit to find out more about that country and it's usually a folk museum today I am here standing at the National Folk Museum of Korea which is located inside the Gyeongbokgung Palace grounds if you take a look inside you can get information on the cultures of the Joseon dynasty in addition to the traditional clothing food and shelter of Korea well if you're ready let's head on inside and take a look around here the place for researching and preserving traditional folk culture of Korea, it is always full of visitors even during the weekdays. Korea used to be an agricultural country and old farming equipments are on display here. You can also see the hanbok, which is Korea's national costume together with traditional attire dating back as far as the era of Three Kingdoms. In the past, they used to weed their own clothes, like that. The designs are quite magnificent, aren't they? At National Folk Museum of Korea, you can frequently see foreigners studying Korean culture with great interest. I wonder how Korean culture is reflected in their eyes. I learn many things with the guide and the it's well done. It has information on each one of the places, how they lived, and it's fascinating. I am happy to be here. I found it very interesting. Um, it's good to learn about the Korean culture and how Koreans used to live. Also, the audio device was helpful and um, gave me a lot of information. Foreign tourists seem to be especially interested in kimchi, the representative dish of Korea. In this kimchi exhibition hall, more than 25 different kimchi models are on display. They look quite delicious. Korean food such as kimchi uses a lot of seasonings. There's red pepper, black pepper, ginger, onions, garlic, and many more. The number of Korean spices is not greater than that of Europe's. However, because they are used in greater quantities, Korean food can seem actually a bit strong. However, it has a well-harmonized taste. Now, when we talk about spices, there is one country we cannot leave out, and yes, it's India. If you're curious to find out what Indian food tastes like with all of its spices, follow me and start out for the little India within Korea. First, look for Anguk Station on subway line number 3. From exit number 1, head towards Gwangamun and you will find a small street between Piksang Memorial Hall and Pungmun Girls High School. Enter the street and go straight forward. Pass by Toksang Girls High School and Middle School which stand facing each other. 
Go up toward the road divides into four sections and you will find the Art Sanjay Center to your left. On the first floor is the Indian restaurant Thal. Let's take a look at the map. From exit number 1 of Anguk Station, go towards Pangamun and don't forget to take the small street between Peksang Memorial Hall and Pungmun Girls High School. The restaurant is always full of customers who come to taste unique Indian dishes. Shall we hear what they have to say? The place that holds you mesmerized once you visit it. This is the Indian restaurant Tal, whose entrance even seems quite mysterious. The Art Nouveau interior that was popular in Europe and the United States from late 19th to early 20th century harmonizes with romantic pink color, making me feel as if I have entered another world. Together with its unique interiors, it is a restaurant where you can fully enjoy the special flavors of Indian food. The restaurant is a dal. If you think of dal, you can think of dal. Do you have any meaning of dal? Yes, the first thing you said is that dal is a dal. We have 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 dal. 콩 요리를 많이 드신답니다. 그래서 달이라고 했답니다. Now, if you take a look around, there even is a small fountain over here, and look, it is layered with rose petals. Isn't it really beautiful? So this place really has an exotic atmosphere. One moment. In order for us to enjoy Indian food properly, we should first find out about the food culture of India. India, the great continent with its seemingly endless history. It is a country with diverse people and just as diverse cultures and traditions. Due to religious influences, many of Indian dishes center on lamb, prawns, lobsters and vegetables. In particular, the Indian food culture represented by its spices has enticed countless traders that visited India during the last 3,000 years. Wonderful taste and fragrance of Indian cuisine. Now, are you ready to be intoxicated with the tempting food from India? This is the menu that I have chosen for today. The person who will guide us to the fantastic world of Indian food, the main chef of Dal. These are the ingredients for Murksi Kilapi, our first dish recommended by the chef. You are all aware that diverse spices go into Indian food, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you show us how to make today's dish? Yes. First, the chicken is seasoned with various spices and then minced in the machine. Take a sieve. <gasps> wow, it's very big. Yeah, <laughs> and we're making chicken sieve gulafi. Oh, it looks very difficult. Yeah. Is it hard to make? Yeah. Wow. This one very difficult. Mm -hmm. All the... Wow. Yeah. Is it and finished yet? Yeah, no finish. Oh. And after we take a chopped capsicum. Mm. The carefully treated chicken is then covered with finely chopped vegetables and very spices. Okay. Colors, very pretty. Yeah, <laughs> color is very bright, this one. It's ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. We put the over oh. tandoor. Ah. And after, close the tandoor. Then after uh, five or six minutes after this one made. Oh, five or six yeah. minutes? Then we serve this. Okay, I'm making a new dish. Mm -hmm. Jinga masala. Jinga masala. Yeah. Prawns. Yeah, prawns. Mm. The second dish that will stimulate our taste buds is Jinga masala, a prawn curry. Various spices are used together with large prawns. The same ingredient, this was uh, 
garam masala. Yeah. Yeah. It was in the tandoor also. Yeah, right. tandoor also used this. Oh. I think, uh, will it taste very strong and very spicy? Not as strong. Oh. Little bit taste is strong. Ah, okay, so it won't taste very strong. But yeah. It smells good. Yeah. Ah, okay, then can you show us how to make it? Yeah. First, clean prawns are marinated in turmeric powder and salt. Turmeric is a plant that belongs to the ginger class and is the main ingredient for cooking curry. Over hot pan, add chopped onions, garlic and mustard seeds and fry. Then, yes, it's little bit water. Water? Yeah. yeah. How to put the same prawns. Mm -hmm. Then you how to cook. Garam masala uh -huh. and red chili powder and some salt. More salt. Okay. Masala is a traditional Indian spice that gives a sharp, stinging taste. Boil down together with masala and cream cheese. Aha! But it's not complete yet. Something else is added to the dish. What could it be? After garnish, coriander chop. Again? Fresh, yeah. More? Yeah. Wow. And uh, fresh cream. Okay, that's it. Mm, it's a mega prawn. Yes, looks delicious. Okay. So, uh, this one cooked. <gasps> wow, it's ready? Yeah. Okay. This one ready. After the chicken is cooked thoroughly in the tandoor, Carefully take out the meat from the skewer without disturbing the shape. Slice the cooked chicken diagonally and it becomes prettier and easier to eat. Finally, sprinkle coriander powder with sweet fresh cream. Then the delicious looking murksi kilapi is also complete. Now are you curious about the taste? The Morksi Gilapi over here is a type of uh, tandoor that we've actually tried a, li a long time ago. Here, let me try it with the sauce. Mmm. The cashew nuts. I can chew. I could actually chew the cashew nuts. It's really fresh. And also the... Uh, vegetables on the outside with the peppers, the red pepper and the green pepper. You can also taste the freshness of them as well. And this sauce, it tastes really good with it. Jinga masala. Mmm. Sounds good and looks good. Mmm. Of course, the shrimp is very chewy and the sauce, it's not as spicy as I imagined it to be. And the uh, seasoning, Although many spices were put into it, mm, it doesn't taste very strong, but I could actually smell the spices. It's really good. Mm. It's a bit creamy because there was cream added to it, and because of the tomato sauce, it doesn't taste that heavy at all. It's really good. Want to come and try it? But we can't be satisfied with only this. As they say, prettier is tastier. The well-decorated Ding Di Shapnam. Never talk about Indian food before trying curry. Among diverse curries that will let you feel the taste of India, Sagost and Bauli Handi is quite special. Chicken is enjoyed by people all over the world. The tender tandoor kabat shah is quite first class. None. The bread of India baked right from tandoor. Various rice with its tasty colors and fragrance even to the sharp taste of Indian drink. At Dal, you can enjoy exotic Indian cuisine to your heart's content. Setting out on my search for new taste, it is always satisfying, especially the joy of discovering unique and exotic dishes that are quite pleasing in unexpected places. It's like discovering unexpected treasures in the desert. Well, Cuisine Korea, thank you for being with us today, and we will come back next time, so please join us again.